All right, let's talk about the bad Eagles defense at this point. I mean, it's just not, it's not going well. It's just not going well. I made a video, I believe last week, about kind of my coaching concerns with them. But like, okay, I was still kind of sitting here saying, well, you're playing Arizona and the Giants. Like, you're good. You know, it's a concern for the playoffs. I didn't think it'd be a concern for winning the division. But now, I don't think they're going to win the division. I think Dallas will beat Washington and that means that they would be the five seed, which, listen, playing an NFC South team uh, might not be the worst thing in the world round one, but it means you have to go on the road the whole way. It means you're more likely to play San Francisco in the divisional round. If you were the two seed, uh, you know, you wouldn't have had to play them until at worst the conference championship. Plus, they still had a chance at the one seed with a victory. So now all of that is just off the table. Let's start off with the run defense, which continues to be bad. Uh, again, with so many great players on that defensive line, you wouldn't think the run defense would be so bad, but it's just, it's been a really bad run defense. You know, kind of, I brought up the numbers in my video last week, but like the numbers are, they're bad run defense and a bad, uh, you know, passing defense but you know like on this play watch as when Kyler takes the snap he gives the ball to Connor and I've kind of circled a lot of blocks here I mean take your pick is there an eagle player who's even kind of coming close to winning their block at this point not really I mean James Connor is in a pretty good position you're going to see him move up a little bit. And then finally, a an unblocked man, a safety for Philadelphia. He comes through. So, okay, well, you finally got something going. So, uh, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Well, no, watch how Connor's going to make a move and get around him. And he picks up a first down right there. I mean, that's just... That's just what's going wrong to a T, right, is, you know, the coaching, uh, like I said, it's very similar to the Brandon Staley uh, mindset where they're basically saying, we're going to hope that, you know, someone on our front seven can win a one-on-one -on -one matchup. We're going to keep two safeties deep. That's how we're going to, you know, plan things. And then just no one's winning the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And then when a safety comes in, he misses the tackle. So it's like you can't even get that to go right right now for Philadelphia. Speaking of missed tackles, I mean, this is a team that's just not tackling right now. And, you know, I think there's some people that kind of bring up, like, missed tackles do fluctuate week in and week out. Uh, it's kind of similar to, like, turnovers, right? Where, like, obviously there is a skill to turnovers, but also it can be a little bit fluky. I think that's kind of how miss missed tackles tend to be as well. But, like, this situation, Connor's going to run uh, towards the offense's left. As you see, Kyler gives him the football. And, you know, you have a, a, a situation that, quite frankly, you just you have to make a tackle here. This is Eli Ricks on this play, a defensive back, and watch what he's going to do. I mean, he doesn't even come close to that. And, like, a lot of times you think, oh, well, defensive back tackling, like, what's the big deal? Well, that's the big deal. I mean, okay, if you gave up the first down, you gave up the first down. You're only getting, like, five yards or so. Instead, that turns into, a, a, you know, a, near, a 20 yard play I mean that's a huge that, that's like basically a personal foul uh, that you just did right there in terms of uh, you know what you gave to the opposing team by not being able to make the tackle also this one where you see Kyler take the snap he's going to flip it to the halfback and this isn't even James Connor on this play this is Michael Carter so like you know if it's Connor you can at least say well it's a great player like with all due respect to Carter he's he's not James Connor and this is Shaq Leonard, the guy that they added, where people were very excited about once they added him. Well, we're kind of seeing why maybe he got cut from his original team on this play. As you see, I mean, he goes to try to punch the ball out, but, like, you got to make the tackle there. I mean, you just do. Like, you have a third down situation. Like, I know your run defense hasn't been great. Maybe you got to start bailing out and going for turnovers. I don't know. I'd rather see you make the tackle, though. Uh, he wasn't able to do it, and they get a touchdown instead of, you know, a quick tackle would have been maybe, you know, ideally, like, third and goal at the four. Like, you would have felt okay about that. And then in coverage, again, it's just, it's stuff like this where it's, they just, they, they're not aggressive enough in zone coverage sometimes. The way this play works, it's a cover three zone blitz. So the player I've circled in white, he's going to be blitzing. You see the route uh, over the middle right here, a, a good route uh, against this coverage for sure. When this play begins, you see it's Nicholas Morrow who's in coverage here, and Michael Wilson is the receiver for Arizona. So it's like, again, Michael Wilson. Like, we're not talking about, a, a, with all due respect to Michael Wilson, we're not talking about a superstar level player or anything like that. And really, I mean, you know what? He's not really hiding what he's doing. You can see him go over the middle. Kyler sees this just the setup in general and is going to make a throw. Kyler makes a good throw. Morrow makes a good you know move. But also, there's just so much space over the middle that they're just able to get a free chunk play once again. Yeah, like it's just 10 plus yard gains shouldn't be this easy to come by. And when you watch the Eagles defense, it's really easy to come by. I said this in, I believe my tier rankings video and I stand by it. They're probably going to be the worst defense to make the playoffs this season. 
Now, granted, for Philadelphia, like, not all of it was just, like, they can't play. Like, some of it was legitimately just good Arizona play. Like, you have to give credit to your opposing team. On this one, it's going to be Josh Sweat, the edge rusher who I'm highlighting here. And watch what's going to happen. Right off the bat, it starts off pretty well. He gets to the edge. He's close to Kyler Murray. I mean, at this point, you're thinking, I mean, if it's anyone else, you're like, oh, guaranteed sack, maybe a fumble here as well. But it's Kyler Murray. And Kyler Murray can is capable of doing some really good stuff. Watch him be able to, uh, you know, get around that. He's going to scramble out and then throw off balance to James Conner, who still isn't open right here. So again, they were able to generate the pressure. Kyler Murray does Kyler Murray magic but still however look at this catch from Connor as well that's good defense and better offense you'll, you'll live with those if if that's all that happened in this game you'd sit here and say okay whatever you know Kyler went off what are you gonna do like you know it, it is what it is the issue of course is that is not all that happened like this one is another one where it's gonna be it's actually a fourth down and four the Eagles are up seven if you get a stop here you're in a great spot and for the Eagles, you know, I mean, they brought in Patricia to kind of, or not brought him in, but, you know, uh, had him start calling plays to try and mix things up. That's what Patricia is doing. He's going all out blitz right here. But Arizona has that matchup right there. Kelly Ringo is going to be the corner for Philadelphia on this play. And it's, again, Michael Wilson. So, you know, a cu couple big spots here for Michael Wilson. Uh, you know, and listen, I'm not, I get it. Like, Ringo isn't exactly the Eagles' number one corner either. But still, like, you have to have guys come through. But Kyler takes a snap. He has to get rid of the football immediately. But luckily, he has a window to do so as, you know, uh, really, that was too easy for Wilson to be able to get that open. And that's just the issue right now. They're, just, they're not covering. They're not stopping to run. They're just not playing good football. And if they continue to play this poorly, like, it's... I mean, it's possible they can win a playoff game, especially because, again, the two opportunities here are they're either going to somehow win the division and then get to play a wild card team, or most likely at this point, they will lose the division and play what would probably be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who they've crushed earlier in the season. So you feel pretty good if you're Philadelphia at not being one and done. But I don't know. I feel like at that point, you're probably going to be underdogs the rest of the way, which, hey, uh, they were underdogs the whole way when they won the Super Bowl, so maybe there's something to that, but I wouldn't bank on it. I think the defense has to figure something out, and they're pretty much out of time to figure it out, so yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.